What is up guys, Austin awesome Nurcho here and today I'm showing off my holiday, winter, Christmas, whatever you want to call it, pop collection. And so I'm just going to show you all the different pieces. I already recorded this but messed it up so I'm doing it again. So everything's not going to be exactly how I wish it was and everything. But I'll just go all the different Funko items is what I will call them that I have of Christmas related stuff. And so I'll go through each one. And so we'll first start off with the Funko Freddy. So this came from the Funko's 12 Days of Christmas from last year. And so we have the Funko Freddy here. So Funko Freddy's their like mascot for Funko. And so as you can see we have a limit of 5,000 pieces here. So most these are going to be out of the box but ones like this since it's limited and everything I'm going to keep it in the box and so as you can see it says FunkoShop.com exclusive so they have a, there it's 12 days of Christmas going on now so you can go to Funko and see what they have this year I haven't bought anything yet um, but we'll start with this Freddy Funko and so um, I don't know why exactly I got this I guess just to have a Freddy Funko and since Christmas is my favorite holiday and I really enjoy and everything I got a Christmas one. So we have Freddy Funko, and so like I said, it's their mascot, and this time he has a Christmas present, which has Happy Holidays on it, so a red and green present. And then he's got a Santa Claus hat on. So I just think that's really cool, and I like the, I wanted a Freddy Funko of some sort, and so I got a Christmas one. So next up, going into actual pop collection, I guess we'll start with one of the new sets, which would be Elf. So here we have the first one, which is Buddy, so the Elf main character and stuff like that. And so as you see Buddy, here in all his elf costume of green and yellow, which is based off a uh, Rudolph uh, character or elf's costume. So we'll see that possibly here in a second. And so here we have Buddy, he's got his hat on with a feather, his curly hair, which is played by Will Ferrell and stuff, so it's his hair. And then we got Buddy in his costume, and he's got a bottle of the maple syrup there, as you can see, his favorite thing to drink and have it, or whatever, on spaghetti and stuff. And so we've got Buddy there. Then next up to go with him, we have his Papa, Papa Elf. And so this is, like I said, I believe it was Bob... Hope, I think, that played him. I'm not exactly sure. It's some old guy. I can't remember his name, though. But he's Professor Proton on Big Bang Theory, if you've seen that show. And so he's dressed just like Buddy. I don't understand what his hands are supposed to be doing, unless it's supposed to be like hugging Buddy or something like that when he goes for a hug. But he's got um, old-timey glasses there, like the Half Moon or whatever they call them, glasses there um, to make him look older. And he's got, like, darker, or not darker, but, like, gray or brownish hair. And one of the glasses is falling off or one of the sides, so I need to like glue that back in there. But it's kind of annoying since it's new and everything. Um, but uh, so there's Papa Elf. And to go along with Buddy, we have Jovi, which is his girlfriend in the show or in the movie, and becomes his wife. And so she's in her elf costume from the store she works at, like the toy store and stuff. And so she's got her elf hat on with like a jingle bell on it at the end, and then her costume, which has jingle bells there at the bottom. And then she's holding a little teddy bear. And of course has some boots on and stuff to fill out her elf costume. So there we have Jovi. And then I do have an older buddy. So this came out a couple years ago. I don't remember exactly when or when I got it exactly. I just know I have. But this is an old style buddy. And so here is the new one and the old one. So you can see the difference. This one looks much more cartoony where this one looks more real and they add like face designs there where this one's just completely flat and so like I said they make this one look more real compared to this one but there is a height difference in everything which you can kind of see and stuff but I really like both of them um, they both have issues though standing up they both fall backwards so I need to find something to do for their feet just to get them to stand up but it's super annoying with these that they always fall backwards and stuff but um, there are the buddy pops then, of course, with the new things they have this year are the vinyl figures. So here's the first one we got. We got the Elf set, which contains Buddy and Narwhal. So the um, Narwhal, Mr. Narwhal, whatever, from the show. And so here we have Buddy in, like, the same, you know, looks exactly the same, except his face is very much more cartoonish with big, giant eyes and a very curved smile. And he has an iceberg to stand on, but yet this iceberg is messed up with the pegs that are actually bent like backwards and so when you put him on it and being top heavy he it just falls backwards again so I have issues of Buddy just wanting to fall down all the time and then along with that we have Mr. Narwhal here and so he's just a very happy very fun looking narwhal all blue and polka dotty and he has a giant um, horn here although I believe it's a tooth on narwhals is what they actually are there and I like how he has the perp or the blue water all around him there at the bottom and I also forgot to mention with him, I do have the Narwhal Pup, which is a Toys R Us exclusive, so you can find this at Toys R Us, and it's part of the Elf set. But we have Narwhal again with the horn in blue, just looks exactly 
the same as you can see, just obviously different designs all together and stuff between a vinyl and a pop, but they're <laughs> designed exactly the same. And next up we'll move on to what is probably one of my favorite movies of all time, or like car uh, holiday shows and stuff, is Rudolph. And so now these are all older, so uh, most of you probably won't be able to find these, but we'll start off with Rudolph. I got these a couple years ago when I was in college, found them in clearance at our college bookstore, and so I bought all that they had, which was all but one from the set, which is unfortunate because it's now super expensive. But first off here we have Rudolph, the main character, as you all know, and so he's got his little horns because he's a little kid at this point. And he's a bright, shiny red nose there. But beyond that, there's nothing real special. It's just a real deer shape. But these are older, so these have a lot less detail in them. I would not be surprised if they eventually remake these um, Rudolph characters at some point or make them a little bit different. But they'll be more detailed when they do and stuff. So there's Rudolph. Next up, we have Hermie. So Rudolph's best friend and the, you know, the elf that wants to be a dentist and stuff. So he's in a costume. Let's see. So here's the original buddy. They are in the exact same costume. The only difference is obviously the colors, like green and blue and stuff. And then the buddy has like a yellow design all the way around the back and around like the outline of the suit, where Hermie does not. So he's just in an all blue outfit. So he's got a blue hat, blue jacket, and then he's got like the burgundy or red. It switches in all different colors from like pinks and purples and reds and stuff. So he's got the exact same design as Buddy, like I said, but he's got his blonde hair, the red and stuff in the on the hat and then in the tights and stuff and then all the just fluffy outline of white there in his little elf shoes and stuff. So there's Hermie. And next up we have Santa Claus. So of course just a plain old Santa Claus. He's just designed a little differently. Like you can I can usually tell when a Santa Claus is from Rudolph or not just by the way it's designed. And this is kind of one it's hard to tell but I could kind of see it and stuff what they did to it and everything but there is Santa Claus like I said nothing real special he's just Santa Claus if you've seen Santa Claus you've seen Santa Claus <laughs> and then we got Yukon Cornelius one of Rudolph's new friends in the show and so of course he likes silver and gold and so I like this one a lot because I like you know the difference of his hat going into his earmuffs and then his beard with the crazy mustache going on there his wavy mustache and then he's got his blue jacket and pants and his whole winter outfit he's got his pick that he can mine for silver and gold with and I like when he hits it and then licks it trying to see if it, he tastes silver and gold and he has a little knife and possibly something else. I can't tell what it is there on his belt. And then he has a backpack there and a bedroll and everything. He's just a whole outback or outdoor pack hiker and stuff and just searching for gold and everything. And then our last character from the pop set is the spotted elephant. So this is one of the misfit toys, the elephant. And again, I don't know why it makes it a misfit just because it's spotted. I mean, it's a toy elephant. They're all different colors and shapes and designs. I know a real elephant doesn't look like that, so if that's what makes him a misfit, that's weird. But So there we have an elephant, which elephants are my favorite animals, so I really like this a lot. And so that's all of the old pops that I wish they do make more and like expand it, because Rudolph is my favorite thing ever out of all Christmas stuff. I buy everything Rudolph related, and so I w hope they make more so I can just have this giant set of Rudolph characters. But to go along with that, new this year, they introduced the finals as well. And so here we have Yukon, exactly like the old one. Um, obviously, but in a different shape and design. They have real skinny bodies and big fat heads like Pops, but um, even more to the extent. So I like he has his hat here, then his earmuffs where he's got the line on the back. His beard, same old thing. He's got the blue coat on. He's got a bigger pick there, so you can see a lot better. The backpack is more design, and the bedroll and everything's got more design. And then he has like snowshoes on his feet, so you can kind of see like the silver outline around his feet and stuff which I like on this because it helps him stand a lot so that's really cool and then he comes in a two pack with Bumble so Bumble's the only character from the pop set that I don't have and like I said is now super expensive but I do have him in a vinyl now so Bumble's the abominable snowman that ends up just having a t um, hurt tooth and then Hermie pulls it and he's all nice and friendly now and he pulls all his teeth though um, but so here's Bumble. Bumble's one of my favorite characters out of the show. But I just really like he's just a big giant abominable snowman. And you can kind of see the size difference between the two characters there. Then next up we're moving on with more vinyl characters. And this is another new set this year. It is the Miser Brothers. So we have Snow Miser and Heat Miser from A Year Without a Santa Claus. And so here we have Snow Miser first. So he's got his top hat on. His ice face, <laughs> I just like the design. He's got a big long nose with icicles hanging off of it. And I love their hair design. It's like a clear material, so back here, like behind the lights, it almost looks like they're glowing because lights allow to go through it and everything, and so it just looks really cool. 
But there's face, he's like waving and stuff. He's got a cane that's made of like ice too because it's all clear and see-through and stuff. And they have bases to stand on which help a lot, which um, I wish Buddy was, had just a regular base like this and not an iceberg, but they tried to do something with it. Um, so there's Snow Miser. Then we have Heat Miser, which again, I really like this because the hair and stuff a lot. So he's got like fire on his head. He's got big like red elf ears and a red nose. So he's like a hot head. And I like his fire in his hand and stuff. And I just really like the design of these two. I saw these and that's what made me decide to get the vinyls. Because I kind of like pushing them off because I didn't feel for it. But there we have the Miser Brothers. And to go with that, we also have the Dorb. That was again in the 12 days of Funko items last year of Year Without Santa Claus. And so these are limited to 500 pieces or 5,000 pieces as well. So again, we have Heat Miser and Snow Miser. And so first up here, we have Snow Miser. As you can see, he's designed almost exactly the same like overall. Obviously, it's a dorb. So he's got a fat round body and a like perfectly round head. He's got the nose with the icicles hanging off of it again, but he's got the smile. His hair this time is clear, like I don't know if you can see, but you can actually like see in the inside. So you can see dorbs are hollow on the inside. Then he's got the top hat and everything, and the same design with the blue scarf and everything there. So not much more to him. And then Heat Miser again, very similar. He's got a big giant red nose, not the same shape. He's got the red ears in his hair, and again, um, this one since the collar is hard to see, but you can see through it and just see that it's hollow on the inside. And I just love their hair a lot. And then he's got his red design. I wish he had fire as well and stuff and like this one had a cane but they don't but there's the miser brothers in dorbs form which again were up from the funko things last year and then the last set for this thing is the grinch set of pops we have starting off here first so we have the grinch and so this is from the book version or it's labeled under the books dr seuss books but it could be from the old uh, cartoon as well but i like the grinch too it's one of my favorite christmas movies like the um, live action one but here we have the Grinch, and so he's in his homemade Santa suit there, and he's all green. And I like the, like, furriness they designed into it. And, of course, they have flocked ones and different colored ones and stuff for the Grinch. But I just found the um, first one I could, which was the regular one. And so we have the Grinch there. And to go along with the Grinch, we have his buddy, Max. And so his little pet that he turns into a reindeer. As you can see, he has the antler tied onto the top of his head, and you can see the bow and the string around his head and everything. And so he's just a little tiny like dog beagle looking thing. I don't know exactly what kind of dog. It's a cartoon so it's hard to tell. But he just looks super cute. I wish his tongue was sticking out because I like when he would stick his tongue out in the show. And um, so I just think he looks super cute and stuff. And I like the antler, the design stuff they did there with Max. And again, you can find this in um, Flocked and different colors and everything. But that's it for Max. And the last thing from this set is the Grinch Dorb set. So I was super excited when I saw this. So this is the Grinch, obviously here. So it's just the same old Grinch as last time, but in Dorbs. So it's just super fat and everything. And then we have the sled. And so Max is attached to it on the string. So there he is being the reindeer. He's got a much bigger, like the more designed horn there, or antler there on its head and stuff. But there's Max with the um, little like thing attached to him to attach him to the sleigh around him. And he's just there all smiling because they make all dwarves smile. And then I really like the sleigh. So we got the Grinch sleigh here with all the presents that he stole from Whoville. It's got a wreath on it, Christmas tree, and a bunch of presents and stuff sitting there on the sleigh. And then I like how you can attach the Grinch there to make him stand to make it uh, look like he's driving the sleigh. And I just really like this piece a lot. It's a cool, nice display piece to have around for Christmas and stuff. I just really like it a lot. And so that's going to be it for all the Funko Christmas items I have. I just want to kind of show them off, kind of get in the holiday experience stuff. I'm going to have them up displayed somewhere. i got to figure out where to put all these now and then to get some to stand up and everything. But I hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comments down below which character was your favorite out of this entire set or watch Christmas movie. Like anything you want to tell them about, your favorite movie, your favorite TV show, or just anything related to Christmas that you'd like to tell me about you because I love Christmas. And so I want to hear your stories or what you like down below too. Too. But I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.